So guys, in this next story, three men have been locked up for more than 25 years after they armed themselves with shotguns and an axe during a violent revenge attack. Haider, Shabir and Mohammed Owas Latif, along with the getaway driver Mohammed Tayyib Wajid, targeted city computers in the West Midlands during the shocking ambush. The lawbreakers aggressively shattered the shop front with the axes, leaving glass strewn across the pavements. Four shots were then blasted at close range towards staff inside the shop in Smethwick, leaving two people injured. Wajid patiently waited at a nearby barber shop as his accomplices carried out the violence in a failed attempt to make sure he had an alibi. The trio were jailed at Wolverhampton Crown Court. The CPS has shed further light on how the shooting unfolded, so Shabia armed himself with a sawn-off shotgun while Latif was seen grasping an axe. Three others also had axes and a second sawn off shotgun as they entered the premises in Bertram Road at around 12 o'clock in the afternoon on January the 12th. The daylight attack saw a member of staff suffer an injury to his arm while the owner's neck was hurt. The prosecution said Wajid encouraged or assisted a violent disorder. He collected his accomplices before driving them to the meeting point at the back of Reedswood Gardens. He was behind the wheel of a stolen Ford Fiesta and made a stop on Pargetta Road along the way. The 25-year-old waited as the car was loaded with weapons and its number plates were changed. Wajid then spoke to an unknown male in Shabir who appeared to pass him something before the Fiesta was dumped at an unknown location. He then went to a barber shop in order to have an alibi as the attack was carried out. After the shooting had come to an end, Wajid picked up some of the attackers before all defenders met at Latif's home. Here, they discussed the shooting. Footage appeared to show a reenactment of the shooting which was filmed and later discovered from Latif's phone by police, the CPS stated. So Shabir of Warsaw was jailed for 14 years after admitting possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life. Latif, who's 23 of Warsaw, was jailed for 9 years and 10 months after admitting the same charge and Wajid was jailed for 21 months after pleading guilty to assisting an offender when the trio appeared at court. CPS spokesperson for the West Midlands said Haider, Shabir, Mohammed, Latif and Mohammed Wajid along with others orchestrated the revenge attack at City Computers. The front of the shop was destroyed with the axes and four shots were fired at close range towards the store. A member of staff received injuries to his arm and the owner injuries to his neck though they were thankfully not life-threatening. And there were pictures from the scene which showed how the shop front was smashed to pieces. And in another news story, a former cage fighter who was convicted for a drugs conspiracy has been arrested in Eastern Europe after almost 18 months on the run. Darren Towler from County Durham was arrested last Saturday near the Croatian and Serbian border. The former MMA fighter had been on the run for almost 18 months after being convicted of orchestrating the sophisticated drugs conspiracy which saw criminals smuggle millions of pounds worth of drugs into County Durham from Merseyside. The 42-year-old who was from Newcastle remains in custody awaiting extradition proceedings. An investigation by the officers from Durham's Police's Specialist Crime Operations Unit found the gang to be exchanging industrial-scale quantities of drugs for hundreds of thousands of pounds. Led by Tower, the conspiracy involved the use of burner encrypted phones and frequent communications to transport cash and drugs across the country. Officers identified more than 10 trips between the northeast and northwest over a five month period in 2017. Following an extensive police investigation, 11 people appeared at Teesside Crown Court in October last year to be sentenced for their role in the conspiracy. Towler was found guilty of conspiracy supplying cocaine and amphetamine but admitted the same charge for cannabis. He failed to appear at court but was jailed for 24 years in his absence. A Durham Constabulary spokesperson said the arrest shows that there is no hiding place for anyone who's evading police. Working with our colleagues at the National Crime Agency, Towler is now facing extradition back to the UK to serve his prison sentence. To anyone who's thinking of causing fear and harm in our communities and think they can get away with it, we will leave with no stone unturned in our efforts to find you and we will always catch up with you and bring you to justice. And in a new story coming from London Ways, two men who were involved in 12 robberies of high-value watches in London 
have been jailed after a successful four-week manhunt by Met detectives. Asonu Mackenzie and Rashawn Nembhard both pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit robbery between the 25th of May and the 15th of July last year. On August the 18th, Mackenzie received a 14-year jail sentence and Nemard received a sentence of eight years imprisonment. During a two-month period last summer, a series of robberies were carried out in Lambeth, Suffolk, Bromley, Croydon, Wandsworth and Hammersmith and Fulham. The method of offences was the same in that the suspects would arrive in a silver Audi Q2 and drive around the area to locate their victim. Once a victim was identified, one or two men would get out of the vehicle and approach them from behind. They were then struck on the back of the head with a blunt object. Once the victims were incapacitated, they would have their high-value watches removed from their wrists. The injuries caused to the victims range from minor grazes and lacerations to fractured skulls with one of the victims still under assessment for potentially losing his sight. The investigation was led by detectives on the robbery investigation team of the Central South BCU. They then analysed hundreds of hours of CCTV to identify the Audi and then trace the occupants. The arrest inquiries from Nembard involved a four-week manhunt including numerous arrests and multiple addresses across South London and Essex. Acting Detective Sergeant Ash Francis of Central South BCU said, I am proud of the investigation that was undertaken by officers of the robbery team on the Central South Borough Command Unit. This case demonstrates their dedication and tenacity. Their diligent investigation resulted in the arrest and conviction of two violent offenders. He said, we are doing everything in our power to ensure that criminals are brought to justice and we understand the impact of robbery on victims and know that the effects are more than just loss of property. Robbery is a violent and often traumatising crime and we remain committed to tackling robbery in all of its forms. And guys, in this next news story, two Birmingham men travel more than 100 miles to South Wales to scam pensioners out of £25,000 at cash machines. Tariq Sharif and Kai Schneider used sophisticated technology to swallow bank cards. The pair targeted vulnerable pensioners as they withdrew money at cash machines. One victim lost more than £22,000, money which she had been saving for her daughter's wedding from her bank account in the con last month. While other victims have been left distraught after losing money, Sharif from Small Eath and Schneider from Tysley have now been jailed. It was reported that an 80-year-old man suffering from the early stages of dementia was the first victim at a Sainsbury's in Bridgend on July the 19th. Prosecutor Hannah George said Sharif stood at the machine next to the elderly man while wearing a surgical mask and a baseball cap. He said it would have been obvious to the defendants he was vulnerable. Sharif told him the machine was not working and should cancel the transaction. The court heard how Sharif then leant over the man and began pressing buttons on the machine. The same method was used at a different machine, the hearing at Swansea Crown Court was told. It later emerged Sharif was using an electronic device to force the machine to swallow bank cards. The pensioner later found out £500 had been taken from his account and his daughter said her dad had lost his confidence and is often still tearful as a result of the incident. A 71-year-old woman also lost £500 from the con and the hearing was told she is now afraid to use cash machines and is constantly looking over her shoulder. Then there was a different elderly man who lost £500 after his card was sold by the machine outside the shop. He told the court the experience had been traumatic. Sharif also used his device to take another woman's card outside Sainsbury's near Swansea. After the machine swallowed two of the women's cards, Sharif began speaking to her and tapping on the machine. It emerged that £700 had been stolen and could have been £14,000 had a bank not blocked the card. There was another woman who was targeted outside a Tesco supermarket in Swansea and her cards were also swallowed, but she later notified that a number of transactions had occurred totalling more than £22,000, money which she had been saving for her daughter's wedding. She said, when I received a text on my phone 10 minutes later telling me £22,000 had been taken, I felt very panicky and could not understand how that could have happened. The men were arrested and charged by South Wales Police with five offences after committing fraud by false representation, one offence of attempting to commit fraud by false representation and another offence of going equipped for theft. The recorder Simon Hughes jailed Sharif for 28 months while Schneider was in prison for 20 months and they will both serve half of those sentences in custody with the rest of the time served out on licence. So guys, there's a number of stories 
Coming out from the streets of the UK, it's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.